Hello everyone and welcome back to Beer Factory. And uh, yeah, today we are going to look into bottling our beer. And uh, yeah, so in the last episode we unlocked our um, bottling place. And I did clean it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I did throw away all the trash and uh, yeah, just made sure it's uh, nice and uh, clean for us to... Uh, to work in. Now, basically with this floor, we definitely can't clean it. I did try. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's the floor that we have to live with. Um, so, I am re-recording this episode, though. So, you'll notice that the objectives on the right-hand side is a little bit more forward than, um, well, more in progress than where I'm actually at right now. And it's essentially because... I was not happy with the last episode. Um, I sounded like, uh, I don't know, I sounded absolutely horrible. My voice was completely bad. Um, yeah, I was a little bit under the weather. Um, I had some sinus issues. And uh, yeah, so I decided to re-record this episode because I wanted to give you guys a little bit more, a uh, little bit better content, if I, if I do say so myself. Um, I do have a little bit of extra money as well. Um, so in between, I did do a few extra odd jobs, basically um, uh, 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 crushing the malt and selling it. So there is some raw malt here, but uh, yeah. Okay, so essentially what we need first is we need to buy some bottles. So I, I still remember what I did mostly from uh, the tutorial or the objectives. And uh, yeah, so essentially what we need first is empty bottles okay and essentially we can uh let's reset that so if we press left shift and like that uh click then we can add 24 so it's easy to add one pallet of stuff to our um to our cargo so let's order 48 uh or maybe let's order 96 because we, we do need a lot of bottles. So let's order that. That's $576. So let's uh, grab that. Uh, let's get our um, uh, uh, forklift ready. Okay. Let's engage a turbo. And let's wait for our little truck. And hopefully they fix the truck that basically gets stuck. So usually the first one doesn't get stuck. But the second one always seems to get stuck. Okay. Uh, also, oh yeah. Uh, it's also been quite a few days and there has been quite a few patches out. So the, the dev is working quite a lot on this game. And uh, yeah, so let's see if this has been fixed. I want to see if... Ah, so they f that he fixed the collision, but ah, we can still grab the, the cargo. That's not too bad. Okay, uh, so we can't go into the truck anymore, but we can still grab the cargo. So that's at least okay. So I'm just going to... You'll also notice I did place two... Um, Pallet, um, pallet storage is here. Just for now. And I'll also go through... Ooh, wasn't meant to do that. I'll also go through something else that they changed. Which is a very, very nice change, if I do say so myself. If we go down here to the brewery. You remember this corner? It was very, very tight. Check the space now. Check all the space for activities now. We can even, like, throw donuts in here. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I get, uh, gave someone, uh, quite a few guys, uh, or people, um, I don't know, made them dizzy, or I don't know. But I'm sorry about that. That was a bit hectic, but hey, it's a little bit fun. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Let's go and pick up the other pallet. Because we have, um... Quite a few uh, pallets to take. There we go. Yeah, I must say that this is a little bit easier to unload. It's not very immersive though, but 
the uh, like the normal unloading procedure is very tedious so i'm actually gonna put this over here for now uh, let's go like that there we go yeah so the current unloading is a little bit tedious but we'll definitely look into that eventually down the line while we're waiting for the next truck i actually want to show you guys as well so if we look at the pause menu we'll see that there's a roadmap as well and essentially game release okay cool that's done but essentially this is the devs um roadmap in terms of what he wants to do going forward and so there's some ai enhancements some security so basically control uh place and control cameras in the factory as you wish um so yeah basically uh it will be possible to hire a security guard to hunt francis now that's the other thing though i did choose uh like the normal difficulty so it's not like kind of like creative in quotes um uh, where francis should actually come every now and then but he hasn't really come for me at all so maybe i haven't played as long or long enough um that i just keep a constantly reset him i am not sure a uh, beer can so it will be possible to buy empty beer cans so cool so instead of just bottles we can actually um uh, eventually uh bottle beer cans basically um recycle garbage to produce cans so that would be awesome actually so have some recycling going on as well uh dedicate to production uh to can production okay that that would also be awesome then we can make our own cans uh, especially with the recycling then we recycle uh, garbage and we can make cans thereafter that would be nice um, and then employees can be assigned to new workstations that's uh, all good beer cakes same thing Control controller compatibility so the steering wheel support for the forklift only would be awesome that would be absolutely epic um, that, that I cannot wait for and then basically miscellaneous content so various challenges to unlock spices that's awesome and then uh yeah quite a few other things as well so uh yeah let's uh i'm just gonna wait for the next truck here um oh that is uh interesting <laughs> okay well here the, uh the truck is coming so um let's see ah okay cool so the truck that gets stuck is uh it seems to be fixed i guess we need to open this first okay grab that let's drop this off quickly and then we'll have all our bottles so that we can uh i actually want to um yeah let's put Let's put this, these balls over here. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is all just preparation because we are going to start bottling up here and then uh, possibly sell it. So let's have a look. Uh, last last bit of um, bottles that we need to pick up. There we go. Okay, our two employees are just standing around doing nothing. We'll put them to work just now. Don't you worry. Okay. Let's get this quite nice and perfect. Uh, a little bit forward. There we go. Okay. So let's switch that off. We do need some fuel though. But we'll grab some fuel just now. So what we'll do is... Um, actually, let me show you the manual process first. Okay. So essentially, these are our bot uh, bottling machines. So we place these boxes over here. Basically, we then switch on the machine. That then takes all the bottles, uh, fills it with beer over here, 
then the this process uh, spins around and it puts caps on the uh, the bottles, and then they come out here and they're boxed. Okay, so essentially we can grab a box and just place them over here, like so. Okay, then we need to unpack them, like so. And then we come to this machine over here, so the bottle manager. So we press F to use, and then now we can we use these buttons on the right hand side. Okay, so we set production settings, we select the storage, and then we need to choose a no no tank is storing brewed beer. Oh, death lager. Let's say okay. Uh, I don't know why it says no tank is storing brewed beer because yeah we do have stored quantity of 202 liters. Okay, we validate it. And now launch button is enabled. So now we can uh, go down to launch and we click this button. And now, see now it's taking all the bottles. And then it's filling it with beer. There we go. And fills it with beer. And it basically starts uh, capping them. And then they come out over here. And there's our beer. So now we are officially packing beer. Or bottling beer. And then eventually packing it. So once there's six bowls. So same as those boxes over there. We'll get a box of beer. And there we go. So that's the whole process. So let's go and grab our employees. So they can start... Uh, doing stuff for us. So, because we want to bottle all of the beer just now. Okay, so validate. Um, this one. So, new link. And we need to place that there. Ah. Okay, cool. So, let's grab our second employee. Because he's also just standing there doing nothing. Just looking all pretty and... Uh, acting as is uh, as if he's working we can't have that we need our employees to work they need to make us money and you shall be working over there and the same goes here so we go production okay validate and bottle there we go okay so then what we can also do is we go and grab ourselves these two pallets. Um, there we go. And we bring it all the way here to this area. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, let's grab our forklift quickly. Go. No. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go and grab our other pallet. Okay, so we'll definitely need to order some pallets as well. Because now we are actually going to be actively using more pallets. And we are going to be selling pallets. So, there we go. Great. Okay, and yeah, okay, so we'll have some pallets here as well. Okay, move this one. Thank you. Uh, actually, you can go over here. We'll wait for this guy to finish first. So, in theory, because there's one pallet of bottles there, that would make enough for a pallet of boxes over here. So a one-to-one -one ratio. What we can also do is press left alt. And we can see that because a pallet can take 24 boxes. So we can see actually that there's 20, 23 boxes now at the moment. And we can also see what it contains. And it's actually not empty bowls. It's just like it's bottled beer uh, of death lager, which is fine. And then 48 liters of it. So that's awesome. And now what we can do 
is we can climb into our um, forklift and just move this let's say over here okay and let's grab that I might first need to move the other one let's do that first there we go oh, that's a quick and there we go okay so now we can just uh, place these ones first um oh okay uh sounds here control nice i'm gonna go with that so now this one we can place over here oh why are why is there three over here already did we miss oh we definitely did uh so i did I take it too quickly or did not pack it correctly let's just double check yeah so i did pack it properly that's fine we can we can easily solve that because uh yeah there we go there we go okay and 24 24 nice okay so um yeah that's now there that's okay and i want this one to be here Let's just pack it quite tightly. There we go. And then we can take this one. No. This one. And we can place it over here. Okay, so both of them do share. That's interesting. There we go. Okay. And switch it off. Let's go grab. Uh, we need another cup of coffee. And we need to pay our employees. It's already time. Okay, slow going to the coffee machine. As you know, we need to stay awake. This is my every every morning, every day. Tons of coffee. That's how I function. Yay, some delicious coffee. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, employees. Pay our employees. Nice. And let's grab our gas quickly. So we can refill our forklift. Okay. And the employees are working. That's great. They're making magnificent progress. How much beer is left? Uh, Store quantity. 63 liters nice okay so we are making quite decent progress on bottling beer which is good it's really good really really good okay um so while we wait for that to finish we are kind of caught up in terms of what we need to do or what i did cover in the episode that i did record and now i'm re-recording um because it was not great um yes yeah, so now we need to unlock the docks that's definitely something i've been waiting for as well so let's have a look uh go to upgrades forklift no construction company docks there we go two and a half thousand dollars to unlock the docks okay let's do it yeah okay we can see there's some truck spaces there the crane that's awesome Okay, build at least five storages on the docks. You need plenty of them. Okay. Although I haven't used this storage at all even. So, yeah. Do we really need them? But the game does tell us that we do need them though. So, um, I guess so. But these are our docks. So we do have an entrance over there. Uh, the forklift entrance over here 
a keep clear area so i'm assuming this crane if an employee were to use this basically they would probably uh I, i'm assuming these are bigger trucks like 18 wheelers maybe and then basically when they deliver stuff or we um export stuff we place it here it will grab it from there and put it on the trucks or take it from the trucks and put it over there for us then to take with our um our forklift but we have uh four bays for our trucks so it can get quite busy over here and it seems like we have another office here and this is probably where this marker has been all the time if you remember from the previous episodes uh, whenever it told us to get uh, get to a computer, the marker was over this side. And this is probably where the marker always were. Okay. So we need to buy and build at least five storages. Okay, so delivery. Storage, uh, storage plates. Uh, storage structures can support uh, two plates. Uh, support for plate, blah, blah. Okay, cool. And I think I actually need to use this. Yeah, storage. Okay. Where are we building the storages? Uh, okay, we can't build storages over there. Um, let's make it maybe a little bit easy on us. And let's build the storages perhaps over here. Okay. Uh, tab. We need to build five of them. So there and another one over here and oh, keep pressing the wrong buttons uh we need some space though so over there and last one right over here okay so I'll be back with you guys just now. I just need to quickly screw in each and every single one of these. Be back with you guys just now. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's every single screw. Um, yeah, it took a took a minute or two. And uh, yeah, so now we need to just uh, uh, pilot the crane. Okay, cool. Um, so let's first. I want to finish assembling these things. So we have five. So we need ten of these and ten of these. So let's order. Let's order that. Okay. Uh, we've got the cash for it. So is it going to arrive here? Or is it going to arrive there? I hope here though. Let's see. I'm just going to wait for a second. Okay. So it seems like it had arrived this side. Uh, now we need to carry all of this over there. That's great. Okay. And yeah, go away. That's just this. Um Oh dear. Okay, this is gonna be slightly um oh, there we go. Slightly crazy because uh yeah. Okay, I'll be back with you guys just now. As I need to basically take all of this stuff and one by one bring it to the storage area or the docks. Okay, and the last piece, finally. Okay, uh, go on, there we go. Okay, so we have our um, storage shelves built. And uh, yes, yeah, so now we need to 
pilot the crane. So let's give that a try. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, basically we have our controls. Crane up, crane down. Attach and detach pallet. Uh, switch cameras. So we have this camera. We have this camera. Uh, for each bay. We have side camera. So... Cool. And this camera. Okay, cool. So probably for, for this uh, loading area here. And then we have this camera. So we can... Like a top-down camera. So we can precisely see where we need to grab our stuff from so we don't want to be like this but let's rather like bring it down a little bit like probably so and then we can freely move around and easily see what we need to take and yeah those are all the cameras okay so export a batch of your brewed beers grab the pallet with the crane and drop the pallet inside an export heavy truck you can order one on the computer Okay, so let's grab all our beer quickly first, and then I'll place them uh, over here, so we can basically, or actually over here, so we can take them with the crane, and uh, yeah. Okay, and we have all our beer over here. Okay. So let's just park our little forklift over here. Okay, so we need to ex uh, export these batches of beer uh, or pallets of beer. And you'll notice that there's a fifth. Uh, so I've got five pallets. So basically the one pallet is what I brewed in the previous video. And uh, yeah, so basically we have currently five full pallets of beer. So we can easily see that. So 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Okay. Cool. So now we need to order a heavy truck. So first we go to global market, I think, dock manager. Yeah, order truck. Okay, so it costs, uh, costs us $100 to order a truck. So let's order one. So in bay zero. Let's wait for the truck to arrive. Damn, he... He goes all Tokyo Drift on that turn. <laughs> okay, so how's this going to work? Let's see. And hey, okay, cool. So this doesn't open. So we, because we uh, we have to use the crane. We, well, we can use the forklift as well to put the stuff in from the side. But I think the crane would be the easiest, I think. So let's, let's grab all of these and put them on the truck with a crane. Okay. So we want to switch the camera to this view. Okay. Um, just crane speed. Okay. So we can adjust the crane speed with the, uh, with the mouse wheel. So we can either have super slow or we can have super fast. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go down speed like this. Okay, cool. So we want to, there we go. Uh, like so. Uh -huh. Where there, there's the truck. Uh, we need to bring this up a little bit. And oh, wait, hold on. Bring down. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's a bit weird. So the collision is there. See, we we can't go down. So we need to, unfortunately, go down here. And then we can place it. Okay. So then we can go like so. Let's up the speed a little bit. There we go. Here. Um. Okay. Right. 
Okay, so how far I can place it. Okay. Uh, I need to get. I still need to get used to the buttons, though. Because there's quite a lot of buttons, and trying to get used to it is quite interesting. And that should be fine. Yeah, so handling the crane is actually not too bad. So we just need to obviously get used to the mechanics and controlling the speed, basically. And the last one. There. Up. Well, actually, it can stay down a little bit. And I think, if we're not mistaken, we can basically double stack them as well. I'm not too sure how. Oh, like so. Okay. Well, let's not do that over now. Because we don't need to double stack. We can just put them over there. Okay. And we have our crane back. There we go. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that's everything. Is there a coffee machine here? Why is there no coffee machine over here? Um, uh, damn it, I had to restart the game. So I don't have a, my tool set. Okay. Uh, okay, so... From the... 240 death logger that we're going to sell. We're going to make $4,100. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm I'm not going to say no to that. I'm not going to say no. That's awesome. Okay. And now that we've exported beer. um, Yeah. So new objectives will be added soon. So... Yeah, basically this uh, definitely then mentions that the dev is still busy with the game. Um, he's, from what I can see, updating the game every day uh, with new content. Well, not new content, but also bug fixes and stuff. So uh, yeah, basically the, the dev is really still busy uh, doing a lot of things. And um, uh, I'll definitely be playing this game more and more. Um, going forward, and I know one of the things that he's still currently working on is automation. So at the moment, let's grab our toolbox quickly. Let me show you guys. Toolbox and the broom. Okay, cool. Okay, so essentially, automation. Because if we open up the toolbox, we have conveyors. And we have the pallet slots and stuff like that, and yeast storage, computer, coffee machine. Cool, cool, cool. And then the conveyor, uh, conveyor large. Now, with conveyors, basically, I would think that, okay, cool. So, we can, in theory, um, let's just pop that over there. Uh, so, we can, in theory, uh, take, sorry, uh, I, I keep getting distracted. I'm terribly sorry. It was bothering me. Okay. So, in theory, uh, we get raw malt, okay? We place it over there, and then it goes into there, and then it comes out as crushed malt. From the crushed malt, we then need to take it downstairs to basically get brewed, okay? And then from there, the bottles, uh, well, we bottle the, the, the beer, and then from there, we take it all the way to the um, distribution. Now, what I would think that you would be able to do is because of this whole area is that maybe we can make it easier to say, okay, cool. We drop something off here. Then they take, they put those things on the conveyor from here because everything is dropped off right here or even possibly over there. So at the distribution center, you drop it off here. Let's say we put a pallet slot, for example, over here or here in the middle of the room. We have a pad slot with an employee that basically then takes whatever is on there and then it puts it on the conveyor that then pushes it over there onto a pad slot there. 
which then that employee, or actually not even, the, the, the conveyor would then directly build on to here. It would just slide onto here, which then basically automatically then pushes it up there. So because it, it's 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 quite inconvenient to take stuff off from the pallets over here uh, and then basically one by one push it push it over there. If we can have per se like let's say over here a whole row of pallets of um, dropped off cargo and an employee that takes one by one that basically puts it onto a conveyor to take it over there. That would be nice. But, but, if we test this, let's see, let's see. Um, so if we push that there and we need to switch on our machine, go, let's see if this works, actually. Uh, not this mod, this one, okay. We plonk it over there. Let's see what happens to this. This is as close as possible I can get it. Let's just double check it. Uh, yeah, that's not, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so the other idea that I had was that basically we take this and we place it just in front of a um, pallet slot. Then what we can do, in theory, is we place the pallet slot over here. We take this and we be able to store it, like so. Then we have conveyors running from there to here. But yet again, see that works. But if we take now a second conveyor, um, another medium, okay, and we place it directly in line, uh, perhaps like so, I think. Oh, it's close enough. And we take that, um, like so, and let's see what happens now. See, this is the testing phase of things. Uh, before we can even start automation. We need to see what we can do with it. So straight works. Straight works perfectly fine. Okay. Now, if we were to take this and we turn it, uh, let's just place it over here. Okay. Uh, actually, place it over there. So it's out of the way, so we can place it. Uh, See, we can't even place it over here. Why not? Is this in the way? Let's see. No. See, that's the whole thing. We can place it over here, closer, but we can't, for some reason, place it over here. Anywhere close to this conveyor, we can't place it. So that means that we can't really... Let's... Wait. Let's just move it over here. Both of these. Let's see. Let's see. This one. Now we can place it as close as possible. Let's try more of the middle side of it. Okay. Okay. So maybe that will work. Let's check. Grab a bag of raw malt. Uh, no. So. And we drop it. Okay. Let's see what happens over here. So it is quite close into it. As close as possible as possible I could get. Let's see. Okay, so see, it's uh it's okay. It might work. It definitely might work. If we grab a pallet slot, um, let's say over here, and we add this pallet over here, can we assign a employee to it? Let's see. Um, that's raw malt, so there's another raw malt over here. I just want to test with multiples and see if anything is possible or not. 
So let's grab our employee because the thing is we, we assign an employee to a workstation. We don't assign them to a uh, pallet storage. So whether or not they will know what to do, that's depending. So yeah, see, this is red. So they can't do anything here. They definitely can't do anything here. So essentially for us to get this to work, we would need to drop off a pallet ourselves we need to place it here and then it will do its thing but but that's not automation because that means we are doing it not the not a computer so there's no way to automate dropping it off and because even if an employee could drive the forklift and drop off things to a specific location that would also be nice but at the moment, that's not possible. So definitely, this kind of thing might work in the future. But that is only depending on whether or not an employee can take stuff from here and put it on the, onto here. Which then basically will be easier to drop it off there. We can place it here. We Even we can place it over here. That's, not, that's, that's okay. Just as long as the employee can take it from here, place it on there have it run all the way there and then somehow from there take it all the way to the downstairs area to be able to get it uh, brewed and then kind of like have that kind of automation running but at the moment that is unfortunately not possible so this game this game definitely has a lot more work to do or work uh, work to be have uh, to be done on it but at the moment, that is uh, still going on. The, um, the dev is still fixing up the game here and there as bugs are being, um, being uh, 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 discovered. And um, yeah, so what he's created so far is a fantastic, um, uh, what's it, uh, proof of concept, if I can say it like that. Um, I'm not saying don't buy this game. I'm saying it's it's got it's got real potential. It really does got real potential. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot more refinement to be uh, that needs to be happen, or that needs to happen. And uh, yeah, at, at, uh, we also just need to remember it is one person working on this game. One person created all of this. And one person created all of the mechanics in this game. So I think uh, for now, uh, we'll definitely um, press pause a little bit. And I'll definitely watch the updates he brings out. And uh, yeah, so basically as soon as he brings out any, any new functionality, I will be here to show you guys. I will definitely be here to show you guys. And uh, yeah, to... Uh, have you guys also see what he what he goes uh, what, he, what what he gets up to actually? Uh, and terribly sorry for my words tonight. It is um, one of those nights. Uh, words are hard, and uh, yeah. But I think I've babbled on long enough for now. So definitely, guys, if you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, obviously to keep up the the series. And uh, I've got tons, uh, well, not tons, actually, a uh, relatively new YouTuber on the block. But uh, they, I do have a few other series also going on. So there's American Truck Simulator and Snow Runner. Uh, there's Pumping Simulator, uh, Alaskan Road Truckers. So uh, choose one, choose a playlist, and uh, go for it. And I do hope that you enjoy, and I do hope you sit back and relax while you're watching my videos. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, guys, on that note, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And yeah, with that, cheers.